who never did something wrong in his life died for you in God, Jesus Christ, while we were yet sinners. Enemies, you are an enemy of God if you live in your sin. You are not a friend. The Bible calls you a child of the devil because he that does sin, commits sin, is of the devil because the devil sins from the beginning. God's word is straight. It shows you where you stand. And at the moment you live in darkness, if you live in sin, if you commit sin, you are not a friend of God. You are only a friend of God if you do His will. So the Amen. will of God Amen. is that you repent, that you walk according to His law, according to God's words. That's the will of God. Jesus Christ said, if you keep my saying, if you keep it, you shall see never death, never. That's a promise from God, if you keep it. But if you don't know it, how can you keep it? You must study the Bible, you must read what is written in God Love and health. Well, your definition of God is not biblical then. That you repent from You're your making sins. up God in your own you mind. Must you must repent. Do that. Paul said, Do you not know uh, that the one right to Who's they? Who's the they? God, God told me he was here. Neither fornicators, no adulterers, no thieves, no drunkards, no infirmities. Yeah, we're friends now. You all inherit the kingdom of God. Praise God. So you can be cleansed from your sins. Your sins can be washed away. I did a lot of things wrong in my life. But I repented from my sins. I said what I did wrong before God. North Korea is very dangerous. Jesus Christ can save you. Jesus Christ wants to see you in heaven. God is against it. And if you read the Bible, if you don't believe in God, that's why you do this while affection. It's not natural. A man and a man and a woman and a woman. God made man and woman. Not man and man. It's natural. Otherwise, we all wouldn't be here if it would be natural. We wouldn't be here. And God said, if you deny Him, that He exists, He gave you up unto this vile affection. That's what is written in the New Testament. Not on the Old, in the New Testament. God gave them up because they deny who He is. God wants to save your soul. And God puts in every one of you that He exists. You can't deny Him. And if you die without Him, you have no excuse. Just get a selfie with a South Korean lady. No Christians. Christians. die without Jesus Christ, without God. God designed us. God designed the world that we know that He is there. If you see a building, you know that the design and architect is behind. Yes. If you see the world, you say it's a coincidence. Are you insane? The world is more complex, well, quit. more beautiful. You're what any man me. can do. And now you say it's a big bang behind it. I believe it. God designed this planet. I can tell you're full of the devil. In his image. You're he full of the devil. Sin. You need deliverance. But because of disobedience, yeah. sin came into the world. Merciful. God so At the merciful. moment you all to disobedience. So with these people. Because you are not obedient suffering. what God wants. You must repent. I'm recording from him, sins. sinner. Keep your mouth quiet, Stop devil. Don't go to hell. Keep your mouth quiet, devil. Don't go to hell. Please, if you be once in hell, you will be there forever. There's no exit in hell. In the name of Jesus, you won't get a return ticket in hell. Once in hell, right forever in hell. Read the Bible. Jesus Christ said, if the right eye offends you, pluck it out and cast it from you. Barry, he's writing something in chalk over there. That's what Jesus said. Jesus said how it is, you will perish. Come to Jesus Christ, repent, believe what he did for you on the cross, that he resurrected on the third day. Did you get a Confess with your mouth that Jesus water? Christ is Lord. Did you take a picture of that?
Englishman. And if okay. he asks you, Lord, do what he has to say. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. They are all important. Every single word is important. Uh -oh. Do what God has to say. You will give an account if you like it or not from your life. Yes. You will give an account. Yes. And you are guilty. And each, every one uh -oh. of us is guilty before him. Goliath is here. But I was smart and I repented. I accepted Jesus Christ Goliath. as my Lord and Savior. Be smart as well. Don't go to hell. It's not necessary. There is a hell. There are things which we can't see yet. But one day you will see it. One day you will see it. Come to Jesus Christ. No. Jesus wants to see you in heaven. Come to him, please. You're running out of time. Maybe you will die today, maybe tomorrow. No one knows the hour. That's why you should leave your life today. You can cross the road and you can die. That's reality. That's reality. You won't live maybe not till 80, till 90. It's not promised to you. And now you're wasting your time and you don't study the Bible. You're wasting your time with TV and with internet, but you don't study the Bible. And that's why you can find everlasting life. You won't find everlasting life in the TV or in the internet. You will find it in the Bible, in God's Word. He gave it to us with a purpose. The Bible is inspired and God preserved His Word. Study it. Study the history of the Bible. Study it. Use your time and your strength to save your soul. You have one soul and you are responsible for it. You are responsible, not your neighbors, not your parents, but yourself. Save your soul. You are guilty and you need forgiveness through Jesus Christ. Because he is the only way. He is the only way. Don't put your trust in Muhammad or in Buddha or in your good deeds. It's worthless before God. Your good deeds are like filthy rags. That's how it is. Filthy rags. It's not better than that. Yeah, yeah, There's a reason why Jesus Christ died for our sins on the cross. Minutes over there. There's a reason. They were asking about ISIS. And Jesus I was Christ like, paid the price for you. Just a Christian woman Come to him. Of ISIS. And then I said, Save like your soul. Put your trust too. in Jesus Christ. You know, and they're and all walk up, on and the I'm narrow like, way. You know, not on Australia. the broad way. Which uh, leads to destruction. Well, Victoria legalizes nine months of abortion. Yes, nine months. You get two doctor's signatures in Victoria, you can kill your baby. So, you know what? God is going to deal with this place. Plus Have you ever thought about your life? Too. Why are you here? So What's the goal of your life? We're trying to, you know, do some forward. Why are you here on, the on this Lord planet? And hope a few get saved. Why are you here? God made us. And we have fellowship with Him. He made us for His pleasure. Do you have fellowship with God? Because all Orthodox, uh, what, well, the Orthodox Church, yeah. the one that worships idols, the one that work, kisses the feet of the dead Jesus on the cross, that one, the one that uh, prays to statues and saints, those icons that God says you should worship and pray to no one but Him, that, that, that one, and you say... No, they do not. Which has 
there is I watched the Orthodox I watched the Orthodox on the 7th of January going on a pier in, in, in by the beach and a priest threw a cross in the water and they all dived in after it the first one to get it he was going to be blessed for the whole year that's the teaching of Jesus is that the teaching of Jesus or the church now you follow the church my friend you don't follow Jesus you wear you wear a cross around your neck made by the you, you have something around your neck saying, oh, look, this, but it's made by man's hands. It's Jesus died on the cross. He was resurrected from the cross. He died on the cross. They put him in the tomb. And you wear the symbol of his death of every death like it's a great thing. You're following the church. You're not following the Bible. You're not following God. What respect? What respect? The cross killed I should love that. If they stabbed him, should I wear a dagger? If they hung him, should I wear a little goose? What's his spec? He killed him. He rose from the grave. He rose from the tomb. Okay. Okay. And yet, and yet, you still, you still preach damnation and hell, which is, which is the creation of the Catholic Church to control the masses from the corrupt no. world. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. Jesus said. There is no He that God is a cause. He that calls his brother a fool without cause is in danger of hell fire. Without cause. Jesus said is in danger of hell fire. Did Jesus lie? Was Jesus a liar? Is that what? Is the Bible lying when it says Jesus spoke of Jesus spoke of hell more than anyone in the Bible? Are you saying now Jesus is a liar? There's no hell? What are you, a Jehovah's Witness or an Orthodox? Which one? Make up your mind. Because I tell you the truth. Am I enemy because I tell you the truth? I tell you the truth, bro. hide from 
You're dressed like you're gonna go prostitute yourself tonight. No fear of God. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The reason you hate God is because you want to obey yourself. You like being the Lord of your life. It bothers you that God has commands. God is serious about His Ten Commandments. They are not ten suggestions. They are ten commandments. You reject God, He will reject you. Matthew chapter 10. God is not willing that any perish, but that all come to repentance. Are you ready to repent today? How many of you are ready to repent of your sins? Many of you, I think you're you just want to go about your own life doing whatever you want. I am trying to ruin your day. I am trying to ruin your day. God's the one that gave you this day. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You people, you go out and buy alcohol, cigarettes, condoms, and you do whatever you want with your life. And I've come out here to confront you about it. Because you're not going to go to church tomorrow. You're not going to seek God. God knows that. So God brings the church to you. God loves you enough to bring the church to you. You're not going to show up for church tomorrow. Just like the cops have to go get the criminals and bring them to jail. Stop screaming, please. Criminals don't show up for jail. The cops have to go get them, arrest them, bring them to jail. Just like you people. You're not going to come to church. You're not going to read the Bible. So God brings the Bible to you. And what does Melbourne do? They rip it out of the preacher's hand and rip up the Proverbs. The book of wisdom shows how much lack of wisdom you people have. You're not seeking wisdom from God. You're seeking wisdom from your Ouija board. Wisdom from your psychic. Wisdom from the tarot cards. He thought about it. Keep going. That was cool. You have no okay, certainty how long you're going to live. Which, which, which God was it that killed men, women, and children because they were non believers? You may live to be a hundred, but if you go to hell, you're going to be there forever. Was the Catholics? Forever and ever. Maker of heaven and earth. Genesis, What's the use of it? Genesis chapter 6, the Bible says God looked down at humanity and he was greeted. I'm going to get a kid an ice cream and he enjoys his ice cream. But he's doing this thing on the hot barbecue. God he soon forgot about the ice cream. He did what? He's God the King of Jews. Yes, Jesus You may enjoy your Jews sin now, but it's all yes. soon forget about it. Jerusalem. Jerusalem, yes, the city of God. Choice. The city of Continue God. Yeah, the Bible says the city of God. I preached there the Lord in Jesus September. For the goodness. Beg for mercy. He wants to forgive you. Yes, he, he does. He that by dying on the cross yes. for your sins so that you could be forgiven. Yes. He wants to forgive you. You know, someone might die for a good man, but who would die for a wicked person? Hmm. Someone hating and using the name of the square word. 
Jesus died for your sins. For your sins. Yes. For each of your sins. He died for all of us. You've committed sins too. The God mockers have been uh, throwing water, drinks, coke, cigarettes all over uh, the word of God that he wrote here. Christians are born perfect. Christians are born sinners like anyone else. And there comes a time in their life when they say no longer want to sin anymore. And they ask the Lord to forgive them. They believe that Jesus died from the cross. They surrender their lives to Jesus Christ. They become a new person. I wake up the next morning and thought, how am I going to live up to this? I'm going to live a holy life. I was afraid to get out of bed. I thought I'll never be able to do this. Guess what? God had changed me. He saves. He forgives. He saves. He changed you. The Bible says you've been born again. You've become a new person. I'm no longer the old sinner they used to be. Amen. I'm a new person in Christ. Yes. And if you come to Christ, you'll be a new person also. You'll be able to live a holy life. You'll have fellowship with God. You'll have God as your friend. Not a God that's far off, but a God that's near, here in your heart, in your mind, walking beside you, all around you. You can talk to Him all the time. Know you're safe in Him. Because the devil goes around the roaring line, singing in the eighty bow. The devil wants to sing you down to hell. He He's got many followers, but they're deceived. 